King's Cross is restored to glory. This square is not only a superb new public space, a masterpiece of urban design, but a classic example of what transport infrastructure investment can deliver in growth and in jobs. Uh, we're here because uh, we're opening London's newest square. It's a vast space in front of King's Cross Station. King's Cross is an iconic location for London. So the living statues are a small reflection of that. Uh, you can see the fun that uh, our passengers are getting out of this today. Particularly, I think the uh, Roman centurion seems to be attracting a lot of personal attention. When you're standing nearly naked at you know, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning with a bunch of odd-looking people wearing copper clothes and that, um, yeah, I would say that draws a lot of attention. We've got tennis players, so there's Sherlock Holmes, we've got a, uh, a police officer, uh, and we've got Queen Victoria indeed. So we've, we've never brought an entire collection of 15 statues together, so it's quite a big thing. I think the public like the stillness and it's the anticipation that something is going to happen. So they see someone, they know it's a real person, but they're just waiting, they're waiting for them to go, woo, or give them a fright or something, you know. I did see the statues, I thought they looked fantastic, yes. And uh, what's been amazing is the way people have just gravitated to this space. As soon as the thing was, was free at seven o'clock this morning, people have been working around the clock to get it, get it ready. The public just flooded into it. The main entrance hasn't been accessible for over a century, so this is a really great transformation and there's very free access to the London Underground entrances and to the tube network and the, the local area. I think it's going to be a, a wonderful new destination for London.